Hi, I've just recently bought an enclosure and I thought I'd give some comments on this and the alternatives that I considered before actually deciding on this particular version. Now, the usual one was the lac enclosure. Very, very commonly used, you see it all over Facebook. Why didn't I go for it? Well, it's cheap, plexiglass, perspex, probably 40 to 50 pounds you can get all the panels uh, ready made off of Amazon. Uh, a couple of IKEA lac tables. If you have to get delivery as well, perhaps they're going to be about £30. Uh, printing the parts, getting a few nuts and bolts, etc. So probably £80, £90, I suppose, altogether. Um, that's not too bad. Why didn't I go for it? Uh, one thing, a lot of comments about them being quite unstable, people having to bolt them to the walls. Um, Although they're, they're mentioned as IKEA lac tables, they are basically cardboard. Uh, it's that, that type of structure, so not very robust. And you do get a lot of resonance from them as well. Um, so I decided to uh, not, not go that direction. Uh, the second option, uh, a new kit on the block, made by a company in France called Printerbox. They've made a dedicated Prusa, as you can see I've got a Prusa here, a dedicated Prusa box enclosure. That's made from plexiglass and stainless steel. It comes in a kit. Uh, and yeah, I, I was looking at that very seriously. Uh, it has four doors all the way around, so you've got great access to the entire printer. Uh, a door on the top as well, so you can access the extruder. Um, yeah, it it looks great. Important factor was the power supply that has actually been moved from the the normal side uh, of the printer to actually into the enclosure at the back of the enclosure, but it's still staying in the enclosure. There is a, um, a hatch opening where. The vented, the large vented side of the PSU will be against, almost against the ground in, in a, an opening for cooling. Uh, and the, the vented side part will be facing the back, again in an opening. But the, the main flat uh, part of the PSU and the flat side that are unvented, they will uh, be actually present in the enclosure itself. That's fine. But with heat rising in the PSU, the heat isn't going to be uh, able to escape. It's going to rise against the flat surface of the, the power supply unit. The enclosure's amb ambient temperature is probably 30 to 40 degrees. That uh, metal work of the PSU is going to get very hot. And with no fans to pump cool air in or extract hot air out, I think that could be a, a failure problem. So I, that was one thing I really wasn't keen about. Uh, a benefit of the Prusa box is that they also allow uh, a Pi screen and a Pi to be present in the front of the box. That looks really good. But again, there's a potential cooling issue with the ambient temperature getting quite warm in, in there. I'm, just not sure that the pie will be able to handle the heat on a long print. And of course there is the price. If you, if you want it shipped to the States it's around about $300. So that's quite an expensive box. So what did I decide on? Well I've gone for this. This is a Takari TS plexiglass enclosure. Five panels, comes in a kit you print the mouldings here, so all the corner mouldings, hinges, etc. They supply all the, the nuts and bolts. Uh, simply five panels, they slot in together. They, they do actually engage um, there, so it is quite a robust package. I went for the cheapest version as well. It doesn't include a base, so it's designed to sit on a desktop. Uh, plenty of room nice front door. There aren't any side opening doors, just purely the front, but you can 
get the printer in and out through there quite easily. You think perhaps, oh, what about the power supply? It's going to get hot. It will do. Here's the power supply here. There is a, a vented section uh, cut into the plexiglass. It's all laser cut. And I've actually made a shroud that goes between the PSU and the vented side so cold air will be able to get to the vents of the power supply. In fact I've even modded that shroud a little bit and included a little 40 millimeter, yeah, 40 millimeter fan so at a predetermined temperature the fan kicks in and it will pump cool air from the vent to the PSU uh, and that keeps it nice and cool. I've tried it, it works very, very well. Uh, the, the base, I, because it doesn't come with a base, I wanted, I didn't really want it to go onto my desk because my desk isn't even. I've actually got two sections of a desk here, two different parts, so they're not level. So I've used a couple of pieces of MDF. Uh, one I've kept solid, one I've cut out, and I've been able to inset a paver and some foam. So that reduces any residents at all. Um, Another good thing about the, the standard unmodded uh, Takari enclosure is the filament. There is a long slot, not a single point of entry for the filament. So if your extruder is to the left or to the right, it will move around and it will always be overhead. So I found that extremely good. The filament can sit on the top. Um, yeah, I, I found this really good. Uh, now, one of the best parts is the price. In euros, I'm afraid I haven't got a dollar figure, uh, but in euros, it's 90 euros, that's all. I couldn't actually buy the plexiglass for that price, let alone the fact that it's all custom designed. So I think that is a really good bargain. Um, what, what else is there? Uh, the standard version has a 60mm uh, cutout for an extractor fan. I've actually modded mine, hopefully you can see that there. I've actually put fitted a 120mm fan with uh, HEPA and carbon filters. It's very, very easy to cut this plexiglass with a jigsaw and a very fine blade that's designed for PVC. It cuts extreme, just like butter. I, I was nervous when I, when I had to do it, uh, but yeah, it works very, very well as long as you've got the correct blade. And that's probably it for the moment. Um, hopefully you found that interesting. It gives you an idea of how you can go ahead with the lac uh, enclosure, perhaps have a look at the printer box enclosures that they have. The Takari, as I say, this is the cheapest one that they have, the TS for the Mark III. They do one for the Mini, which has a side slot for the filament. They also uh, do TLX versions. Now those have a melamine base and a melamine back with a cutout for a 120 millimeter fan. And those include um, a HEPA and carbon filter, I believe. They're, they're about double the price. Uh, and this, this version is a four millimeter plexi. The TLX ones with the uh, base and back are a five millimeter, so they're slightly thicker. So you, you are paying for a, a little bit thicker plexi. Um, Perhaps in the next video I can indicate how to do uh, a controller because I've got a, a thermostatic fan controller here that's just with uh, lights as well, so LED lights which I've added here on this plastic. And also I've today actually just added in uh, a uh, Pi with Octodash, just mounted it to the wall, detachable so I can control the printer from that. Anyway, I hope that was uh, educational for you. I've not heard of Takari uh, until very recently on Facebook. So if you like the look of it, perhaps have a look at their website and um, see what you think.